Maybe you have been written off. And they are saying, can anything good come out of your life? You are going to thank God. From today, good things must start happening in my life. People must see good things in me. Not only bad stories. Say, oh Lord, my Father. From today, let good things be my portion. Oh Lord, my Father. From today, let people see good things with me. Let them see good things in my marriage. Let them see good things in my home. Let them go see, see good things around us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. May the Lord God Almighty baptize you with good things. Amen. May your life and your stories be changed forever. Amen. All those that are mocking you since the beginning of this year till now, from this day on, they will see God's glory manifest in your life. No more crying in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to worship God. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Hey, hallelujah.
over the church take all the glory Amen. Lord we are in your presence this hour not in the presence of man but the presence of you the creator touch every life this hour in the name of Jesus Amen. put our problems to shame in the name of Jesus we cover this service with the blood of Jesus Father my life I surrender before thee Amen. forgive me Break me down, Lord, Amen. and use me as your vessel. Amen. Do not allow me to speak of myself, Amen. but let the Holy Spirit speak through me. Amen. Thank you, Blessed Father. Amen. In Jesus' name, it is settled. Amen. 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 Jesus. Let's ask God bless us. I would like to sincerely welcome you all into the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. And my prayer to God Almighty is for God to give us understanding of His words. There are diverse kinds of understanding in this present dispensation. We have the understanding of the word of man. We have the understanding of the word of the world. And we have the understanding of the word of God. For every level of understanding, there comes level of power. To some, they can scheme in this world and get whatever they want. That's a level of understanding of the world. And to some, they have spiritual understanding and they operate at the higher end. In the name of Jesus, may you possess the understanding of God. Amen. Very briefly, we shall be looking at what the Lord has given us the grace to look into, which is the hard teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of the hard teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of the hard teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, prosperity is in Jesus. Deliverance is in Jesus. Whatever you need in life, they are already inside of Jesus. But the problem in this dispensation is this. People no longer preach Jesus. They preach what is inside of Jesus. That's why you see people, they spend time saying they are going for deliverance. Deliverance. No. What you need is not deliverance. It's just to know the one that gave you the deliverance. Oh, I need a job. I need this. What you need is not the job. It's to know the one that gave you the job. I pray, may you know Jesus today. Amen. I said, I pray, may we know Jesus today. Amen. One of the hard teachings of Jesus, Luke chapter 13, verse 3. Luke 13, verse 3. The Bible says, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Let's open our Bible, please. Luke 13, verse 3. Are we all there? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. If someone should walk up to you and tell you, if you don't change your ways, you will die. You will insult the person. Am I right? If someone tells you, what you are doing, if you don't leave it, you are going to be a this and that, you will fight the person. But can you fight the Bible? Can I fight the Bible? Even though the pastor did not preach this to you, even though the pastor did not preach this to me, but the word of God standeth sure. If we refuse to repent, we shall all likewise perish. It is the bitter truth. I stand here not because I'm holy than thou, or I'm holier than you, but it's by his grace. The same judgment that God will make for you, or that God will use for you, is the same he will use for me, which is the Bible. So you can run away from the Bible. I can run away from the Bible. The word of God will still be used to judge us. The hard teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay, except ye repent, ye shall all like Christ perish. Let's open to John. John chapter 6. John chapter 6. And I read quickly from verse 48.
verse 48 to today. The Bible says, I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which come down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. The first one says, if you don't repent, you will die. But this one is saying, if you eat from the bread of life, which is Jesus, you will not die. Not if you eat deliverance. Not if you eat healing. Not if you eat the If you eat from the bread that coming from heaven, which is Jesus, you will not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Also eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, had eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. Not in deliverance. He that feedeth on Jesus. Jesus says, the person will be in him, and he in Jesus. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead, and that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Praise the Lord. In verse 60, many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, many therefore of his disciples, when they heard the teaching that Jesus gave to them, said, this is an art saying, who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it. He said unto them, Do this offend you? What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the spirit that quickened it, the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, therefore, said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him by my Father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. After Jesus told them that they can only live if they are set him into their lives. After Jesus told them that they have to eat his flesh and drink his blood, many people thought in themselves that these teachings was too hard for them and they forsook Jesus. Many of his disciples no longer walked with him. I pray, may you not walk away from the everlasting light. Amen. People are walking away from Christ because they don't want to listen to the true teaching of God. Why are people running away from Christ? Number one, why are people running away from Christ? The first thing is lust of the flesh. Lust of the flesh. People want to be spiritual and at the same time be with the world. And there is no way we can serve God 
and mammon together. Number two, why are people not interested in the body of Christ? Because they are spiritually blind. Number one is what? Let's keep writing lost of the flesh. Okay, number two. People are spiritually blind. Number three. Spiritual ignorance. I was saying the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. But people read the Bible with carnal mind and they get understanding with carnality. When a man reads the Bible without the Spirit of God in that life, that life will have no understanding of the Bible. Next, why are people leaving the body of Christ? Because of the associations they keep. People are keeping friends that are not godly because of the associations they keep. Why are people living in the body of Christ? Because of their evil ways. There is no one that is doing evil that will want their evil deeds to be exposed. And there is no way you will be a Christian that will be comfortable with doing evil. Jesus will expose you. Because of evil deeds. Why are people living in the body of Christ? Because they lack understanding and the vision of heaven and hell. They lack understanding of the vision of heaven and hell. Why are people living in the body of Christ? Because they see the church as a mere gathering. They see the church as a mere gathering. Whenever you approach the church as a mere gathering, when there's something else, you don't see the, you don't see the need. You just go. Let's open the book of John as we're ending up. John chapter 10. Which number are we now? In some way. Why are people living in the church? John chapter 10. I read quickly from verse 30 to 42. I and my father are one. Why are people living in the church? Because they don't believe that Jesus and God, they are one. If you don't believe that Jesus and the Almighty God, they are one, you leave the church. Some, what normally baffles me in this generation is this. And I want you to understand, there was a time in Africa, there was a man that I was working with, and he came to start a business, so we were working together. No, I was, don't let me say I was, I was like under him. I was showing him, he had the money, I was showing him. All of a sudden, we bought a shop, a business. The business had a problem. Then we left the business without paying the game. Okay, and when you sign a lease agreement, it follows you around. So we abandoned the business, and unfortunately, he bought another business. Unknown to us, the same property manager that was managing the other one, they were the one managing the new business, and we walked into the trap majestically. So, what we ran away from? Just now became like a follow problem entered us. They allowed us to settle down that place before they manifested. It was a disaster. So whenever you leave a church, may God give us understanding. Oh, I'm not sorry. No, it's too much in that place. If you want to leave, you don't leave while fighting. How no? If you leave a church, it's only if God is not the one that instituted the church. If you leave a church thinking you meet a better God somewhere, is it Lie from the pit of hell. The God that you forsake in MFA, the same God is waiting for you in redeem. The God that you fought, a Catholic, the same God that you will meet in Anglican. 
will, they, will God be happy if you destroy his house in Kaduna and you relocate it to Jos? Will you be happy? Will you be happy somebody destroy your properties in Lagos and the same person now become someone that is looking to rent your house in Abuja? You will destroy that person's life. You will, give him, you will give the person reference that you will not allow anybody to give that person a house. I pray in the name of Jesus. May we not walk away from the presence of God. Amen. I and my father are one. Do we believe that I, Jesus Christ, and God are one? If you don't believe it, you walk away. Next. Verse 32. Verse 31. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Serving God is hard. Because you will hear some messages that will, will stab you to your heart. And you think pastor is talking about me. I'm a living witness. There are times when I will do some terrible things. And when a preacher preach, the people that I know when they preach, they say, eh, they're talking about me. But they're not talking about me. They don't even have me in their mind at all. It's the spirit of God that is giving them conviction to speak their word. To stab my heart so I can repent. Luke 13, 3 that we read. This was given to me in the revelation. One time I have shared with you before, one time I was in a very, very dirty and terrible sin. And that day in the vision, I was, I appeared before two men and they gave me the, that verse that nay, except you repent, ye shall all my Christ. When I woke up, I never knew about this verse. When I woke up, I went to go and open it. Luke 13, 30 said, Ah! I quickly repented. And I thought no one saw me, but the Almighty God saw me. May God Almighty deliver us all from all our secret sins in the name of Jesus. Why are people leaving the church? It's because of our secret sins. Verse 32. Jesus answered them, Many good works have I shown to you from my Father. For whom, for which of those works do you stone me? Who can just tell us how we stone Jesus? In verse 31, Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Why were they picking up stones to, to, to throw at Jesus? Bible students. Because he compared himself to God. And because of the teaching he was giving them, Jesus was telling them the truth that they thought they were hiding their secret. Jesus was exposing the secret to them because they never believed in Jesus. And he was telling them, say, Come, don't believe in me. May God who created the heaven and the earth, I and God are one. And that thing made them to hate him more. So whenever we hear some teachings that are exposing our inner self, we get offended. But when we come and say, all of you, you get blessed. People will shout, am I right? I receive it. I receive it. You will buy two cars. I receive it. But when they tell you, the soul that sin shall die. If you have just committed the sin, you say, pastor is talking about me. But when I say, all of you buy houses, pastor is not talking about you, am I right? But when it becomes like, repent, pastor knows my secret. He's exposing me. I'm not exposing you. I don't even have time for your secret. Because my own secret, I'm saying, they say, Lord, help me to forsake all these evil ways. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. So, where, where will I have the time to be thinking of another person's problem? God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Dedere, then the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou be a man, make thyself God. Jesus answered them, it is, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If you call them gods, whom then did the word of God came? And the scripture cannot be broken. Say ye of him, whom the Father hath sanctified, and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not the works of my father believe me not but if I do though ye believe not me believe the works 
that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I I in him. Therefore, they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hands. Why were they looking to grab Jesus again? Because he told them again the truth. And went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized, and there he abode. And many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle. But all things that John spake of this man were true. On the line, verse 41. And many believed that John he did no miracles. But all the things that John spake of this man were true. And many believed on him there. May you believe in Jesus. Amen. And may you believe the word of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Why are people forsaking the body of Christ? Because of laziness. We are lazy to pray and we are lazy to study the scripture. Let's rise on our feet because of our time. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Someone should open it. Second Timothy Chapter 3, verse 16. If you are there, you can read. All scripture. All scripture. I don't change the inspiration. Put the all scriptures give a graph only. I put it there so people will believe us that uh, we are. Okay, continue, sir. All scripture, let's rise up, please. That's where we're going to use to pray. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for what? For doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The word that you are listening to, or the word we should be listening to, are the words that will correct us. Whenever you listen to words that makes you to be happy and encourage you to continue in sin, they are messages of hell and they will live a life gloriously to destruction. Whenever you are doing anything and the messages you are listening to is encouraging you to continue in your wicked ways, those messages are being fashioned to entice a life into everlasting destruction. It's better for you and I to be corrected and make heaven Rather than for the devil and the world to celebrate us and end our lives in hell. Hell is real, beloved. Heaven is real. It's appointed unto man to die once, and after death is judgment. And the Bible says, For all of us shall appear before the judgment throne of God to give account of every works that you have done on this earth. No matter how clever you may be, there is nothing that is hidden before your Creator. No matter how clever they pretend to be before you, nothing is hidden before God. All my secret works, the day I die, will be revealed. All your secret works, the day you leave this world, you will give account. I want you to tell God, tomorrow may be too late. Every single day that you wake up, it is another opportunity to make your life straight. All the things you are running away, all you are running after, Chasing after the wind, my, my money, my car. The day you die, nothing will enter the grave with you. Is the bitter truth from the Almighty. You came to this world with nothing, and it is of a certain, certainly, you will leave this world with nothing. Then why lose your eternal hope for material things? Tell me, because the Lord, help me to live a righteous life. Help me, O oh Lord, to stand. On the way of righteousness. Help me to forsake the world. Ask God to help you. We need help. As a church, we need help. As families, we need help. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for releasing your word. Unto your children. 
Lord, we pray. The Bible says the entrance of the word giveth light and understanding to the simple. Let us have understanding of your teachings today in the name of Jesus. Every seed of discord, every evil seed sown into our hearts by the devil to kill our salvation, such seeds shall be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. As we go out this week, may Jesus go before us. As we enter our various homes, may Jesus be the Lord of our homes. Anywhere we go, all the days of our lives, may Jesus always go before us. We cover ourselves, our families with the blood of Jesus. We pray for those who have traveled, Jesus will be with them. We pray for those who are to walk, Jesus will be with them. We pray for those who are sick, Jesus will be with them. We pray for those who are heavy laden, Jesus will be with them. We pray for those who are crying, Jesus will be with them. Above all, we pray for the church, Jesus will be with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus.